Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth uh, tutorial for the MATCAD program and in this tutorial uh, we are trying to use the MATCAD for solving the linear equations okay and the linear equation I mean once you have one equation the power of, of all the variables should be one if it is two it means that's a nonlinear equation okay so in the beginning we are trying to create to write a linear equation by the way no matter how many variables you have in the linear equation and how many equations you have it doesn't make any problem for you it is the same way if you are solving the four equations or if you are solving uh, for three variables or two or uh, whatever okay so uh, today i'm trying to use uh, three variables x and y and z if you have any variable it's okay to change it okay so let's gonna start uh, x and let me zoom out uh, sorry zoom in for to be more clear x plus 2y minus 3 3z uh, if see if you write this one if you write this equal it, it's gonna be red okay because uh, as I told you in the first uh, tutorial you should define any variable and then it will be okay to write the formula otherwise it will be red okay to solve this problem because we are trying just to create the uh, equation we are not gonna solve uh, in this way I'm suggesting you to use this one okay equal to you can create this or you can use this one and it, it's gonna be okay so the next one the next equation x 2x for example plus uh, 2y minus z equal to 1 for example the third one third equation uh, 3x plus 1 sorry 2y minus to z equal to 2 for example okay it's okay if you have 4 5 whatever and then if you want to find the value of x y or z we can use the math cat for finding these values okay how we should create the, the matrix for the exponent of all uh, sorry for the uh, coefficient of all the variables okay and another matrix for all the results okay the matrix for the coefficient of the variables will be three by three because we have three equation and three variable and the matrix for the results will be three row and one column okay so let's start you can name your matrix whatever you want i am naming my matrix the first one a then for creating the matrix we should come to here it should be three by three press ok and we should write the coefficient for all the variables here is one two and here is minus three you should be careful about the the sign of the numbers okay. and here is two two and minus one here is three two and minus two we have just finished the first matrix and we should create another matrix the name it's okay whatever the name is okay up to you the b equal to the next matrix is, should be three rows by one column and uh, we should write the numbers 
the values here okay now we finished the matrix for the coefficient of the variables and for the result as well so for solving the for finding the value of the x y and z we should write the small l and solve okay then create one bracket write a and b press equal so these are the value of x this is the value of x y and z i hope it will be useful thank you for watching